Hello everybody, my name is Jordan Sweeto, and I'm kind of scared right now, because it's Fan Fiction Week on My Digital Escape. Oh god, oh my goodness, this is gonna be one hell of a ride, you guys. So if things start getting pretty awkward in here, just curl up into a ball and cry. It works for me. Okay, let's get started. I'll stop stalling. Hello, internet. Oh god. I'm already pretty scared, to be honest. I'm afraid and curious all at the same time. It's a weird feeling. Alright, I've asked you guys on Twitter to send me some links. What have I done? Ooh, this one's called Yoshi is Real. <laughs> it was a typical day and I walked outside to get the mail. The grass was cool under my bare feet and the air smelled sweet. Sweet! I opened the mailbox and grabbed a stack of letters, small packages and ads, and turned back towards the house. After sorting, I reached towards the letters pile and grabbed the small package that had been on the top. I picked it up and it was about the size of my palm. I set it down on the table and smiled. It was a fake Yoshi egg. <gasps> oh my god! As I reached for the next letter, I noticed the egg was shaking. I pulled back my hand and turned my attention from the pile of letters to the egg. I watched in fascination as the small egg began to crack. I heard a faint noise and the egg split. A small creature popped out. It took me a minute to realize that the fake Yoshi egg had hatched and the creature was a Yoshi. Oh my god, a real life Yoshi, this is the best story ever. I grabbed the Yoshi and held it up to the light in awe. I pulled it out of the light and set it back on the table. It looked at me and began to run around in circles. No, Lasso! Lasso! Man, I wish this was real life. Oh my god! Well, that was a beautiful story and it warmed my heart. But I know what you guys really want to see, you sickos. Mm -mm. Let's keep looking. Oh god. This one is titled Jordan Sweeto and Johnny Gilbert Smut. This cannot end well. I'm so sorry if you're watching this right now, Johnny. <laughs> Let's read it. Jordan's point of view. Oh my god, I love Sweeto mail. The videos are so fun. I love my Sweetos. Why am I talking like this? Beep beep. Oh, I got a text from Johnny. Cool. Hey man, you want to play with me? Wait, what the hell? Oh, um, how do I respond to this? He sent me another text. Or hang out, as we teenagers say. <laughs> what the? Oh, okay, that's what hanging out means. I didn't know. Oh, sure, Johnny. You want to do a random question and answer? Let's do do something a bit more daring. Truth or dare. To be honest, I'm scared of what he's going to dare or ask me. <laughs> sure, man. Okay, let's choose dares and stuff. Okay, Jordan, truth or dare? I'm gonna regret this. Truth. Ooh, not feeling daring, okay? Would you date me? What? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, um, this is weird. Well, I guess he is cute and shizzed. <laughs> Damn it, why in the hell did I do this? I don't know, Jordan, I, I don't know why you're doing this. I guess, Johnny, I guess. Wow, I agreed to it. You know what, good for me. So, will you be my baby, Jordan? Oh. Mm. Okay, so now we're dating, apparently. Johnny's point of view. I hope this gets him to talk. I mean, he's gorgeous, but he doesn't like me. What? But he just asked me out and I said yes. Huh? But he said sure, yeah, sure. Johnny, I'm in Australia. I can't see you, only in videos and texting. I didn't think about this, <laughs> Wait! What if I send you a plane ticket? Yeah, sure. If you get me a ticket, I'll come. I swear. I'm gonna lick your... Your whole body when you get here, BB. No more waiting. Okay! That escalated very quickly. <laughs> oh, God. Jordan's point of view. Jumping out of bed, I went to the bathroom to, you know, do bathroom stuff. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate, doing bathroom stuff in the bathroom. Hmm. I got in the bathroom and heard a sound. Ignoring it, I got my toothbrush and started to brush my teeth. <laughs> I heard the shower curtain open and I looked back, oh god. It was Johnny standing there all wet and naked. Oh, <laughs> why is this happening? I looked up and down all over his body, don't do that! No, bad Jordan. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, let's get on with this. See, I knew you wanted me. That's why I'm here, Jordan. I want your blood too, baby. <laughs> Oh my god. What am I doing with my life? I stood there speechless. He walked out of the shower and came in front of me. Touch me. What? You heard me. Touch me, baby. He took my hand and pressed it on his hot, wet bod. Okay. Well, well, what are you d d d doing He ignored my question. He let go my hand kept on his body. Oh, that makes sense. Feel me. <laughs> my hand went down his chest and lower and lower till my hand got to just below his belly button. <laughs> oh, Go on. I can't. He came closer and forced me into a kiss. I kissed back. He moaned loudly. Like a wildebeest. <laughs> Oh god. I'm so sorry if you're watching this, Johnny. I think Johnny has been the victim on MDE this week. Poor Johnny. Beep beep! I came out for the kiss. What? Beep beep! I opened my eyes. Damn it, I was dreaming. Damn it! Johnny's point of view. Wow, he had a wet dream about- Wow, he had a wet dream about me. I must be more awesome than I thought. I mean, I have wet dreams all the time about him. I mean, how can I not? He is so sexy. I mean, he's probably really big too. Oh! 
Oh, I can't think about this. He'll get me turned on when I'm alone in my room. Wow, I've got to get out of this place. What the hell is- Okay, this is- this is- this is the best damn story I've ever read. Apparently we go on a date. We're literally Skyping at the movies. He's pointing me towards the movie screen. Yes, I scored a date! Okay, let's do one more. This short story is called A Sweet Type of Love. Don't worry, you guys. I'm gonna skip through all the filler and get to the good stuff. Because I know it's what you want. Yada yada yada. We're at Disneyland. We're having a great time. Me and this mystery girl. Jordan's point of view. I hear a knock at the door. I knew exactly who it was. I walked to the door and opened it. Hello once again. Again, Jordan, she says. Hello, come on in, I say. And let's begin, she says, walking in. Really? Bear in the big blue house? I, I what the f- Okay. Yep, my sister used to watch it when she was little, she says. Oh, maybe the story is more innocent than I thought. What do you want to do? I ask. Well, I guess we could dance or something. Or we could do what we did at the amusement park, I say, stepping closer to her. That could work too, she says, getting closer. Oh god, what's happening? Then why don't we, I say, crushing my lips into hers? She immediately kissed me back. It felt so right. Part of me wanted to keep standing here kissing her, and the other half of me wanted to get in her pants. Oh, do you want to... You know. I thought you would never ask. She says kissing me and playing with the hair at the nape of my neck. What the hell is a nape? She hops up and wraps her legs around my waist. I keep her up by cradling her... <laughs> I keep her up by cradling her buttocks with my hands. I'm just gonna censor all the questionable words, you guys. You can thank me later. I walk with her in my arms to the bedroom. Oh, goodness. I lie her down underneath me and she starts tugging on my shirt and taking it off. I took off her top and realized that she wasn't wearing a bra. <gasps> oh, Nelly. After taking off her top, I kissed everywhere I could, making her moan. I unbuttoned her pants and took them off, throwing them somewhere in the room. She did the same. Well, aren't we a messy couple just throwing throwing our clothes around the room. Jeez. Eventually, we ended up completely naked. And here's the part where it starts to get steamy. I entered in... I started thrusting at this... At the same time, I licked the bottom of her lips for entry. She granted it. I kept doing the thrust. I know... <laughs> I noticed that her eyes were changing colors from green to really light green, almost gray. What? How the hell does that work? Does that make your eyes turn different colors? I'm learning so much, you guys. I pulled out... Uh, oh. <laughs> I, I... I pulled out and moved down to... Oh, no! 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 I moved down to her something. I take my tongue... Oh, God. Uh, oh, God. I swirl... I swirl it around her... Uh, okay, that's enough fan fiction for one day. Thank you for writing those creative stories, guys. Uh, yeah. Why? <laughs> this has definitely been interesting. I'm just gonna put this over here. I might burn that later. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Well, thank you guys for watching that video. I hope you weren't too creeped out. I've got some super freaking awesome news for you guys. I'm releasing my brand new single and music video for my original song, Fright Tonight, this Saturday. Cue the teaser. It's nearly here. Are you excited? I really hope you guys are. I think you're gonna love it because I do. Come subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and you'll be the first to see it. I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching this video. Leave a like and a comment down below and I will see you guys on my main channel for Fright Tonight on Saturday and as always next Thursday right here on MDE. See you guys later. Bye!